Just had a chance to check out the uh, top 40 workout of high schoolers today. Speaking of fun to watch, uh, yeah. Luke Recker going to IU. Of course, this year's Mr. Basketball, and I think IU fans are going to be glad with what they see. He's a, he's a complete package. He's a nice kid to talk with. He's got an all-around game, and he also is talking about national championship banners at IU. Got a chance to talk with Luke today. Here's more on him winning Mr. Basketball and going to play for Bob Knight. It's quite an honor, you know, there's a lot of great players in the state of Indiana. Uh, obviously Cameron Stevens is an excellent ball player, Jamal Davis, Mike Menser, and there's, still, there's too many to name them all, but uh, it's an honor for me to have the media and coaches vote me in the top part in the state. You're going on to IU, uh, what are you going to do to prepare for the next fall? Oh, obviously I think we need to get bigger. Uh, the Big Ten's a pretty physical conference, I want to build up my strength a little bit. Then, you know, I want to work on my shooting and, you know, make my shooting 100% accurate like I told the guy over there because you got to shoot for the best no matter what. And, uh, you know, other than that, I just want to keep proving my all-around game and be ready for next year. Was IU a foregone conclusion or did you have to decide between other schools or did you always grow up like a lot of kids in Indiana do want to go to IU? Actually, I didn't grow up uh, really a Hoosier fan. I grew up in Ohio, but after moving to Indiana and in my fourth grade year, I became a real Hoosier fan. And uh, after I visited there during my sophomore year on the unofficial, uh, I just totally fell in love with the whole situation. I didn't think any other program across the United States of America could suit me better than IU, and I'm real happy to be going there. What kind of things do you want to accomplish there? I know they've, they've kind of struggled the last few years. Do you want to help pick it up or get them to the next level? What things do you want to accomplish? Oh, obviously. You know, I, I demand the best on myself, and uh, I work as hard as I can to achieve that. And obviously the most, uh, the highest goal in uh, college is to win the national championship, and I hope to get that accomplished in one of my four years, hopefully a couple of times. But, you know, obviously that's real difficult. But other than that, you know, a Big Ten championship, beat Purdue, uh, you know, just everything. We want to bring back, we want to bring IU back to the, you know, top five level that it was. We're going to be in top five every four, every four years, all of my four years. Does the stuff that's gone on after the tournament this year bother you at all? Has any of that affected your decision to go there? Oh, absolutely not. You know, I'm real familiar with all the players down there and the coaches. And uh, after speaking to them all, I understand the situation really well. And uh, I'm just real looking forward to going down there. So, uh, you know, none of that bothers me. What's been the, your fa most favorite thing about winning this Mr. Basketball in the, in the year you've had? Even though you didn't make it to the Final Four, you still had a great year. Yeah, we did. Uh, you know, it was tough when we got beaten. Obviously, I'll never forget that loss of semi-state. But uh, when we look back on it when we were older, we can appreciate the things your team did. And I uh, had a lot of great friendships, and that's probably the most important thing. And we had a lot of fun. So uh, we did have a great year. And obviously, Mr. Basketball tops it off real well. And, uh, you know, like I said, I can look back on this and be real proud. Do you foresee a national championship? Are you going to predict a national championship for IU in the next four years? Uh, yeah, IU fans want to know. They've been, they've been waiting for a while. I'm going to do the best I can. That's all I can say. Uh, I think if everybody does the best they can, that's all you can ask. And uh, if I think we all do the best we can, you know, I think that's a real possible goal. And, uh, you know, that's all I can say about that. Putting the, putting the kid on the <laughs> spot like that. When's the na you're going to win a national championship? From DeKalb, he hasn't had a lot of exposure here. IU fans are in for a treat, looks like. Absolutely. He's got an all-around game. He can shoot from outside. He can go inside. You saw the dunk there in the McDonald's All-Star game. That was a dunk competition. He can jump. Whether or not he gets a lot of dunks down IU, you were talking about, uh, we'll wait and see. But he, a heady kid. I mean, I, you know, I, I did ask him a couple of tough questions. If he was bothered by some of the things that's happened this offseason, no, he's ready to go. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Chris Stout, join us here on The Jam. Appreciate that. Hey, stay tuned. When The Jam continues, we're going to make that announcement we've been telling you about, about our newest member of Track Team 13 for the month of May. And this sports venue right here used to host baseball. Now it's strictly for gearheads. We're going to rock and roll <laughs> in the dirt. Coming up. Thirteen Sports Jam is brought to you in part by Honda.